Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Krista and I'll be doing your July 2019 general reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So I hope that you enjoyed your June 2019 monthly forecast. I will be using the Good to Road deck for your main five card spread today. We'll get qualifiers to look at any outstanding issues or concerns I have in the spread. And of course, we'll look at the bottom of the deck for general energy. And then we'll get jumper cards from these Oracle decks for further information for the month for you. So what does Aries need to know for July 2019? Messages for Aries, Sun, Aries, Moon, and Aries rising signs. Well, you could, uh, we'll see if this shows up in your reading, but it's always cool to see jumpers as I'm shuffling with you in mind. We have this gorgeous King of Pentacles here. Of course, we know that the King of Pentacles is the master of finances, the master of good health. This is the person who really can loan money. This is a person in a tremendous, uh, you know, a, a very capable, self-made um, type of position. You could be very, very comfortable this month, Aries, financially. If there was a health concern, um, all will be well in that area, it looks like, um, according to that jumper. Could be a message for all of you or just a, several or even a particular Aries watching today. Messages for Aries, sun, moon, and rising signs for... Ooh, lots of really nice energy. There's another king. There's a queen of pentacles. We have our king of fire there. Of course, that's uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. The fool and the magician and the three of cups coming up. So something to be celebrated, uh, a leap of faith here. You know, putting into use what is already in front of you to uh, make a dream or develop um, a goal of yours. A nice celebration could be in store. And then you have that gorgeous Queen of Pentacles. Of course, she's in the same family as that king that jumped out. So you could be in process of or, or um, in, you know, right on the precipice of developing basically a fortune, something that feels fortunate. Um, you could also be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn as well. You could have a Leo in the mix. Uh, generally, when we're looking at the sun, we're just looking at a lot of really positive, victorious energy. So I'm going to quiet uh, myself up a little bit here. We're going to stop looking at jumpers and get to your spread messages for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Aries. Let's get your five cards out today and figure out what's in store for you for a July. Look at that gorgeous Ten of Cups. You know, and I probably will just because that's the way I roll. Look at all this cups. These cups, I should say. Wow. Oh my heavens. Okay. I mean, it's hard not to relate what we're seeing here. Uh, to what we saw jumping out, you're basically getting sort of like a two-in-one reading here because uh, we had several cards jump. We're not seeing repeats, as you can see. We're not seeing the full. We're not seeing um, any of the, the, you know, the, the court cards and the pentacles here. Uh, what else jumped out there? We didn't, you know, the king of um, wands isn't showing up. But there's a lot of really gorgeous mm, emotional energy here, a lot of emotional progress here, feeling really just satisfied. There's a great deal of satisfaction here is what I'm seeing. Uh, you do have um, two major arcanas, something that is going to tip in your balance, tip in your favor. The high priestess, really, as you know, the outcome or advice, you know, sp or spirit advice for you with regard to your cards today, you're looking at really relying on or counting on or being asked to pay attention to your intuition. So, that's what I'm seeing with all these cards together. Bottom of the deck is some more water. So this is an overall energy. Uh, it's the five. We are dealing with some more cups here. So you now have four out of the six cards, all cups. 
even though this is an overall energy, we are combating this really, I would say, vigorously. Five of Cups is really just a, it's a disappointment. It's a dissatisfaction. Um, it could be a loss. It could be an upset, right? Again, in the emotional war realm. But, you know, you're coming out on top or you're being asked to see clearly here or use your intuition or insight or even long range view, right? Your subconscious is at work here. So there could be an element, especially because we have right in the center, we have our nostalgia card. There could be something in with relation to the subconscious here. We're dealing with a lot of water. And of course, our outcome is the high priestess, a very heavy subconscious energy here. Ooh, I don't want to get that in the way. Um, so something could be bubbling up from the surface here that you did find a little bit uh, dissatisfying or maybe that you felt was a little bit of a loss. Okay, this is hard to ignore. Five, three fives. Three fives underneath that bottom of the deck energy. Five of pentacles, five of swords, and of course the five of cups. I really do try to keep this all under 10 minutes. I swear to God. And it's just, there's just, I there's no accounting for what's coming up. I can't ignore this. Um Five of Pentacles is, it's like, it's like a defeat. It's, it's feeling defeated. It could be even fatigue. It could, you know, physically, it could be, you know, financial fatigue, of course. Um, we have our Five of Swords here. We have some upsetting words, upsetting thoughts. Um, it could be combativeness. It could be just generally speaking disagreements, but this is, you know, underlying energy for the month, right? And then we have our five of cups, which is a little bit of a loss, satisfaction, dissatisfaction here. So I really feel confident he, confidently here that even if you are battling some of this energy, I mean, you know, the fives are always, they're the agents of chaos or the agents of change. Sixes always follow, as we know, five, six, okay, um, numerically. So balance needs to be restored here. So this could just be an element of restoration that needs to occur for you. I also want to look at very briefly what three fives are indicating, right? So disputes and quarrels, not surprisingly. So in other words, you know, I really feel confidently here that getting to the subconscious, okay, is going to be imperative for healing or for you to feel, uh, you know, emotionally satisfied here, emotionally well here. So you could need to do some, um, you know, you, you, you could need an inside job this month in July, Aries. You could need to go deep within, find out, you know, what's behind this nostalgia, what's behind this yearning okay this longing that you feel you don't already have or something or it could be old it could be old outdated um i feel like i'm skipping ahead a tiny bit let's get uh one at a time for you so the situation is really feeling emotionally secure this is really someone at least one person having your back feeling as though you're in the right place where you should be at the right time I think you have mostly everything going for you, at least on the surface, right? The situation is you really aren't wanting anything or needing anything, even though there is some sort of, you know, as, as we, as we saw there, the sort of disputes or, or quarrels, this could be internal. Okay. This could be strictly going on within your own world. However, we did see a lot of court cards jump out. We had kings and queens. Uh, two kings and a queen jump out at the beginning. We had a leap of faith with the fool. Um, we have another possible person here. See, uh, we have the sun card. There could be a Leo. So there could be actual individuals. I mean, the court cards could physically apply to individuals in your life. If that's the case, Aries, and you know who these people are, then of course, apply accordingly. Um, but generally speaking, July is going to feel, at least the situation that this is concerning for you is, you know, fulfillment, happiness. Um, this is where you want to be. This is where you currently might be. So the situation is, you know, you're, you're almost yearning for this, but you got to help yourself out deep in your subconscious. And if it helps at this time, you can always look up, you know, brief, say, mm, you know, videos about what the conscious and subconscious is. So you can find out how deep some of these, say, feelings or 
the sentimentality really goes here. So yeah, the challenge is it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here if it's a person. If it's not, this could represent you. You could have Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer in your own chart. Aries, if that's the case, this could be energy that feels challenging right now. So yeah, you want this really badly. There's a little bit of chaos or conflict around it, right? You want this happy-go-lucky fulfillment card. The, um, the, the challenge, however, is the sense of compassion and well-being and, um, you know, growing something beautiful, growing into or, you know, even accepting, you know, welcoming as, uh, you know, as being being the receptive energy to this type of thing versus fighting it or um, fighting others for it or say yearning for it you know just just sort of letting it come to you right this is you could you could say in other words that this is somewhat receptive energy so that could be part of it for you in the month of July Aries I know you're a fire sign and it's a lot of go 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 a lot of do 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 you know it's it's very action oriented this month especially around issues of happiness and fulfillment, there could be an element of letting it come in, right? Maybe stop pressuring yourself, don't work so hard at it, that type of thing. The solution here we are looking at in the central card for the whole spread is the Six of Cups. This is where we are, again, looking at nostalgia, sentimentality. Something I discovered way too late after <laughs> using this deck, uh, in my opinion, but I did finally discover it, so that's good. Upside down, you can see this older lady, this, say, young woman, looking at the little girl in, as, at her reflection in the pond. So there's something very definitive from your past here. It doesn't necessarily have to mean it's from your childhood, but it's something that's, it's already gone, right? It's, it's past. It's gone. It's past. So, you know, and maybe it had a larger impact on your psyche. Maybe it had a larger impact on your subconscious than you have admitted, okay? And and then, um, so you might have been keeping yourself busy and trying to do something about it, you know, for example, but I think there's an element of whatever this is that you want to reach, this, per, this pinnacle of happiness here, this emotional, say, wealth, right? Emotional satisfaction or wealth or... Um, contentedness kind of has to do with you and what you think and feel about the what you feel rather about the situation here is what is hidden so a balance is necessary necessary at this time if, if you are say for example trying to organize some sort of payback trying to organize some sort of to hurry something up, for example, you know, say peace of mind, if you're trying to hurry that up somehow, it's almost like, you know, the justice card is really trying to remind us of balance, even seasonal balance, you know, uh, natural processes, right? There is no hurrying nature. Nature almost will laugh in the face of anyone trying to hurry her. So it's it's almost like something here is a process and needs to develop or occur on its own. I think, you know, creating balance within your own heart, within your own mind, um, within this communication or conversations, or if it's all about you, you know, within yourself, coming to terms with doing and receiving here because the outcome, as we mentioned before, is the high priestess. Very, very, very powerful energy. Intuition plus is happening here. We're dealing with a lot of very highly intuitive feminine energy here, I want to mention as well. And again, within the realm of the... No, we are going to look at another card. Hold on one second. Um, I would say within the rel uh, realm of the emotions. So not so much overthinking anything necessarily this month let's see if I can lay those there so that's the bottom of the deck for you let's get this guy back and what do I want to look at here let's look at what's hidden let's get another card on why is justice in the what is hidden position what does the justice card mean in the hidden position what is hidden or what needs to be balanced
Wow. Another major arcana. No small dealio. We are dealing with the devil. This is basically addictions, right? Addictions to anything. It's whatever you consider to be a roadblock. It could simply be you and your own thoughts and ideas or perceptions of something. It could be literally a Capricorn. You could be dealing with another individual, right? Um, it could be Capricornian energy, 10th house energy. The public, what does the public think of you? Um, the business world, finances and assets. Uh, we could just be strictly dealing with literally what the card, um, the author of this deck calls the devil and which is temptation. So it's basically with regard to what is hidden, something that's tempting you. Like I said, it's hard not to look at this and think that there's some sort of payback here or some sort of fault finding. Um, <clears throat> could be sucking up a lot of time, a lot of energy, could be stealing a lot of peace from you. So I would say, you know, just really out the gate on the surface here, what it looks like, what needs justice or balance here, um, being what is hidden from you is something that you either haven't paid attention to that is in the way or don't want to pay attention to that's in the way. Um, but temptation is just really, it could just be a bad habit. Okay. It doesn't have to be a big crazy deal. Um, but only you know what that is. What is that temptation that is keeping you from reaching balance or, or seeking balance even? I mean, this these don't need to be confirmation cards for you. If you haven't already thought of these things, they can just be sort of eye-opening. Like, hmm, I hadn't looked at it that way. So you have two cards out of the... The wisdom of the Oracle, we have message in a bottle. This usually comes in the form of emails, texts, phone calls. Uh, you'll see there's just a really old telephone in that bottle there. It could just be unexpected, but it's going to be heartfelt. We are dealing with, again, more water, something that you need to hear or need to say. And then clean it up. Yeah, I mean, getting out of your own way, getting rid of what doesn't work for you anymore. I think choosing to get away from this type of energy, the conflict and sort of chaos here, I think it's always necessary for as long as it's necessary and then it, and then it's and then it just isn't after that. So be careful that we're not uh, uh, overdoing things or redoing things that you know have already come and gone. Their time is over. And if it, if it feels like a habit or a bad habit or it feels like an addiction or it feels like this is the only way you know how to cope with something or deal with something, you know, maybe it's time to say, well, what is it do I really want? Do I really want emotional wealth, health, and happiness? If I do, I'm going to have to go within. I'm going to have to listen to my intuition. I'm going to have to really pay attention to the subconscious around this issue. Let's get one card out of these four jumpers for you. Yeah, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. If this isn't a love reading for you, as it is a general reading for all signs, and you could treat it however you want, um, this could be a creative card for you. So yeah, if you're working on a project that you feel really, really happy about and you just needed an extra confirmation about is this the right path for me at this time, then you can rest assured that it is, that you are on the right path for you. If it is a love or romance card, then, you know, maybe just keep investigating, keep seeking, do the bulk of the work on yourself. However, there is no changing anyone else. There is only changing ourselves. Imagine for a moment someone else trying to change you and how not only frustrating that would be for them, <clears throat> but how in a way, especially if you knew about it, you would almost go out of your way to prove them wrong. And I mean, everyone else is like that too. So really pay attention to yourself, your energy. Everyone else will figure out how to um, work with you right? Work within your vibe. So we do have the Hawk here. This is our second messenger card. Um, a message is available to you or coming to you. It could be strictly this reading and this reading will be very helpful for you. I hope that's the case. Otherwise, you could be looking for a message at this time, looking for a message of hope. Um, keep your antenna up. 
keep your antenna high in the month of July. I think messages of uh, enormous worth and value will appear to you. And um, it'll be different for each one of you because you are going through something unique to one another, of course, even as you fall under the sun, moon, or rising sign of Aries. Um, but yeah, messages, very, very important at this time. Either you're sending them or you are receiving them. Um, and then meditation. So as I mentioned at the very beginning, we're going to want to go within, really look at the subconscious. It might even be a nice time um, for you as well before giving or getting messages to start or even develop some sort of journal, a diary, some type of um, avenue where you can express yourself to yourself, right? We want the subconscious to be aware of this um, before, you know, sharing those thoughts and ideas with others at this time. So Aries, I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. I loved reading for you. Comment below if you have a second, subscribe to my channel. If you already haven't, like and share my videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.